All right, once again, Keith Brown, Tack Room Devotional. We're talking about maturing in Christ. Hallelujah. Boy, we need more and more people, not only just to mature in Christ, but have a desire to mature in Christ, to grow up in Him. Amen. And we've talked about how you do it. The Word of God plays such an important part. But when you just read the Word and memorize the Word, that's just the the pure milk of the Word. But it finally needs to become an active part in our life. Remember, in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, it tells us that the Word of God is living and powerful and sharp sharper than any two-edged sword that pierces to the division of the soul and the spirit, the bone and the marrow, marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Now I want to break that down a little bit for you. It's living and powerful. See, many times we read books and they're just books. This book is alive and active if you allow it to be in your life. See, we can hinder it, but we need to make it active in our life. Why? Because we need to mature in Christ. Amen. And so it says it's living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Now, again, that's sharp, but I want you to see the how that works. It says sharper than any two-edged sword that pierces to the division of the soul and the spirit. I want you to know that when you and I die, um, our soul and our spirit goes to heaven. Now, man is made up of three parts, spirit, soul, and body. The body dies and goes back to dirt. We were created out of dirt, we're going back to dirt, our bodies. But our spirit and our soul together go to heaven. And what the Word of God says, it says that it's living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword that pierces to the division of the soul and the spirit. In other words, what God is trying to do is get our soul and our spirit to be one. And that's how it is through the Word of God. It causes our soul and our spirit, our spirit man uh, is that is that part of us that communicates with God. That's that reborn part of us. It's the created in his likeness and image. And so we commune through the spirit. Do you understand? And now here's our soul, which is our mind, will, and our emotion. It's really our personality. And of course, our personality wants to act one way and our spirit wants to, to obey the, the word of God. And so what does the word of God do? It pierces to that which divides the soul and the spirit and causes our, our soul to start to line up with the spirit. Not only with, with I mean, it's, it's our spirit lining up with his spirit. Do you understand that? Jesus talks about becoming one with him. That's how it happens. It's our soul by, by knowing and, and allowing the word of God to be active in us. It causes our life to be changed into his. Remember it says, I've been crucified with Christ. So I'm a dead man. It's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Now remember in John chapter 1, it says that uh, in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God. And then in verse 14, it says the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. So we know that's talking about Jesus Christ. He is the living Word. He's part of this. And now, like I say in Galatians, I've been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I live, but it's Him living His life out, the Word, living the word out, that active word, that living word lived out through my life. Amen? That, my friend, is the solid, uh, uh, the solid food of the Word of God. That's what you and I need to chew on. We need to allow that word to be active, working within us. Remember, it divides to the, uh, div uh, it, it, um, a two-edged sword that pierces to the division of the soul and the spirit and the bone of the marrow. And it's, that's speaking also of the flesh and the spirit. But then it's a discerner. It helps us discern between good and evil. And it also shows us the intents of our own heart. Read that. That's Again, that's Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. You need to read that and study that because that's how powerful the Word of God is. And that's what I'm saying. We ought to be teachers by now. Why? Because we should be feeding on the uh, on the solid food and allowing it to change our life. Amen. Hey, chew on that for a while. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. We love you. Jesus loves you. We pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.